Hello everyone. Today is August the 7th, Tuesday, and I wanted to talk about um, my weight loss journey. I know I haven't made any videos on what I've been doing, so you guys have no clue. I mean, you probably look at my videos and think, oh well, she's been about that size since she started making videos, which I started making videos in February of this year, and if you go back to my very first video, you'll see a considerable difference from the first video until now. So, let me just let you know, um, I started thinking about seriously uh, dropping, you know, at least 50 pounds back in February. I started around the Lent season. I gave up sweets. So, for that, that meant um, candies, cakes, cookies, rice, potatoes, anything that can break down the sugar. So I gave that up. And then in March, I um, started doing the low-carb Atkins diet. So when I started, what helped me get started with the low-carb Atkins diet was the giving up the sugar and the sweets during Lent. That really did kickstart, you know, me jumping into low-carb because I had been eating, you know, any kind of sweets or anything or really carbs for like 40 days for the whole Lent season. So when I started, um, you know, actually doing Atkins, it wasn't that hard for me to transition. So when I started um, my whole weight loss thing, I was weighing 185, yeah, and I'm 5'2", so that's grossly overweight for someone my height and everything. So I was weighing 185. Um, I had been diagnosed with arthritis in my right knee and, like, arthritis in my lower back and back spurs. And my doctor said all of that is weight-related and that if I lost weight, I would all that would go away. So I decided, you know, it's time for me to just go ahead and lose weight. My husband and I don't have kids. We want kids. And, you know, if I get pregnant, I really don't want to get pregnant on top of 50 pounds of fat that's not supposed to be there. Like, it's a shame because when I started dating my husband in 2003, I was in a size 5. So I gained about 50 pounds from 2003 up until now. Well, 2012, beginning of 2012. So um, I started doing Atkins and I, I was losing like 4 pounds a week, 5 pounds a week, then it started going down to 2 pounds. That was in the phase one of Atkins. So far I have lost 30 pounds. So I went from 185, maybe a little more than 30. I went from 185 to 159. I weighed myself on, when did I weigh? I think it was uh, last Sunday is when I weighed. So I need to weigh myself again, which I will. Hopefully I lost more. And all I, I just decided, first I had to uh, get it in my head mentally that it's time to stop playing around. I, you know, I don't have high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, or any of the um, weight-related diseases. So my doctor said, if you keep going down the road, you're going, you're going, to, you're going to get that because it runs in my family. So um, I had to get it in my mind mentally that it's time for me to change the way I'm eating. So I, um, I found this great Atkins cook guy on YouTube. His Green name I think is Bo Wolf. It's B O W O L F, I think. But anyway, uh, his real name is Kent. I can't think of his last name. But anyway, he makes um, Atkins meals from the recipe book, and he does it step by step. So I started, you know, making whatever he was making, and it was good. It was a big hit in my house. My husband loved it, and I started losing weight that way, and. I'm in, I'm out of the phases with Atkins. Right now I'm just maintaining the weight that I've lost. And I still want to lose about, oh, about 15 more pounds. I still want to lose about 15 more pounds, maybe 20. So um, I would do a shake in the morning. Now I wasn't doing this Shakeology shake when I first started because there's a lot of carbs in here, but they're good carbs. But I wanted to strictly stay on, like, from 20 to 40 carbs a day, so I didn't do this, but now I'm doing these shakes, 
and it's got all kinds of good stuff. This is like the healthiest meal you can have a day. This. And um, it's like 160 calories, 1 gram of fat, uh, 20 grams of carbs, 15 um, proteins, and 10 sugars. You can only order this online. It, it, it's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. I mean, it really is worth it for me. I, I love those shakes. So I would do a shake in the morning, and then I'd walk first. I would go walk for about an hour, hour and a half. And then I'd come home and I'd do my shake and, and take a nap before I have to go to work later on in the evening. And um, then I'll just eat healthy. Like today I'm having baked chicken and um, like broccoli and carrots. For, a, for lunch today I had a turkey sandwich on the low-carb bread and then nuts. I did have a few pork rinds. Pork rinds aren't good for you, but there aren't any carbs in it. I didn't have that many. I had like three or four little ones. So, But um, I try not to deprive myself. If I want to eat something like fried chicken, I'll just go ahead and eat it and then work out or whatever and then jump right back to what I was doing. Because if you deprive yourself, then it's just going to be miserable. It's going to be a miserable existence. You know, it might take you a year to get the weight off. So for a whole year, you're going to go without your favorite things. It's just not... It's not feasible. So anyway, that's what I've been doing um, pretty much and just keeping my head straight. You know, it's like my whole mo my thinking has changed from the way I used to be. I mean, I, I just, you know, now I look at everything that I put in my mouth. Eventually, I'm going to go organic. I mean, I've been buying organic foods. I noticed that you can go to Trader Joe's and get it for cheap. It's not as expensive as if you went to Whole Foods or some other nature way store. So um, slowly I'm going into organic. Like I want my meats to be organic or koshered um, without all the hormones and all that. But I'm getting there. So, oh, and I'm also, um, I can't do gluten. So it's, I've been cooking if I want any kind of breads. I have to, you know, use coconut flour or almond flour, and so I've been doing that, and it's been good. I made some chocolate chip gluten-free cookies that were the bomb. So, I mean, it's, I'm making it work for me. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. I've seen a lot of people talk about their weight loss and what they were doing, and it looks like everybody's on the same page. Everybody's trying to get healthy. You know, because we really don't know what's going to happen with the health um, care industry and insurance and everything. So I don't want to be at the mercy of some health care, you know, because I made bad choices. So I want to be as healthy as I can so that I can live a better life and just be happy. So that's my little rant, I guess, or maybe not a rant, but just kind of babbling and letting you guys know where I stood with my weight loss and I'll um, keep everybody updated with how I'm doing um, right now I'm at 159 I'm going to weigh again on Tuesday because I have to go to the doctor and then I'll post that weight as well so that's all and you guys have a great day bye bye <laughs>